Hello and welcome to the video. Now that we have finished with greedy approach and almost done with the 50% of hacker rank interview preparation kit, let's move on to the search uh, section and this is the first problem that is ice cream parlor. So this is marked as a medium and it's for 35 score. So before solving this particular problem, I would recommend you guys to solve this problem. So this is ice cream parlor again, but it is easy and uh, for score 30. So th this is a basically same problem. But I think the only difference would be higher time complexity would be okay here. So you can basically solve it into O of n square and I think the uh, solution would be accepted. So let's check on our current problem that is hash table ice cream parlor. So we'll go with the flow that is first problem definition after that the basic approach. After that uh, optimize approach and we are trying to solve this particular problem in O of n or less than that. So we'll see how that works and after that it will be followed by writing code. Okay, again, uh, two things. If you have watched hash map and dictionary series from my videos or solved problem from the hacker interview preparation kit, this particular problem would be a cakewalk. So please be rest assured. And one more thing, uh, I want to thank you guys for the amazing response on the last problem that is reverse merge shuffle uh, advanced problem. So let's start with this particular problem and start with the basic explanation. So I'll be taking this example 2135. And let's check how it works. Okay, now we will be given a sum or the amount of money they have. So that will be a money. And we will be given array. So it will be price array. Uh, this, is, this particular element will be price for each uh, ice cream. So what you want to do is, you want to combine two ice cream, which will make the price that is a five. So this means adding any two elements needs to be equated with the money. So they have uh, given two condition if you check in node they have given two ice cream having unique IDs i and j may have a same cost that means let's say you have given a cost uh, sum that is 4 there might be a possible uh, ice cream that is 2 and 2 so you can choose 2 and 2 which have different index in that particular array and second thing is there will be always a unique solution that means no two pairs will be formed for a particular value. So, okay, let's, let's go with this particular information. Okay, now let's see how the basic approach would work. The basic approach would be O of n square and what it will do is, we'll first check, take a for loop and this particular for loop will be iterating from first value to the last minus one. Why? Because we want to compare all this value. So, it will basically start with zero till the way it is i minus one or n minus one where n is length of the given array and after that so this particular for loop will iterate for each value and after that we want to check values with the remaining elements in the array so for that we will be taking another for loop and in this particular for loop we will have another variable let's say j and it will go from i plus 1 so I will be simply writing i plus 1 to the end of the array so what it will basically do is it will check all the elements from that particular element plus one till the end of the array and here after using two for loops we will write a logic where let's say the value came from here is a and the value which came from here is b so the value are the values in the index i and j okay so we'll add a and b here and we'll see if a and b is equal to is equal to the given sum that is five if yes we will break out of the loop and print out the solution and here we need to uh, not to print out the prices but the indexes or indices sorry so here uh, let's say how it will go so first we'll come at 2 we'll check 2's value with 1 so it is 3 it is not equal to 5 we'll move ahead 2 and 3 <laughs> okay we got solution early so that's not an issue so we know how a basic approach would work so here the value is 5 and we will break out of the loop and we got the solution and because there is only one unique solution uh, the problem or the solution ends here okay so now let's suppose if the particular 2 and 3 values were end of the array so in that case you need to iterate all this value let's let's uh, delete 2 and 3 you have to delete all these values not delete you have to iterate all these values and after that you will realize the true answer okay so it is a very expensive in the terms of time complexity and we need to op optimize that. So how we can optimize that is they have given us hint that is a hash map. So uh, why not use a hash map? 
So let me clear this and we'll see how hash, uh, solution with hash map wo would work. Now I'll be taking a map where I'll be storing values of 2, 1, 3, 5, 4. So what we can do is you can initialize 1 to it. So uh, saying that this particular key exists. So what you can do is for 2 you can assign value 1. For again 1 you can assign again 1. If basically values uh, non-initialized would be 0. So assigning 1 means that this particular value exists. So after initializing all these values what you can do is you will iterate from a loop and you can check for 2 if the 5 minus 2 exists or not. So if let us say 5 minus 2 is 3 we will check this particular value in our map and using this particular key and we will check if it exists or not. Yes it exists however the value it holds is 1 and if you use an unordered map the favorite type of uh, map my, my favorite it does not store the order. So in that case it is very complicated to retrieve the order or the index which it was stored. So in that case what we can do is we can store the input here or the when it was taken into the input. So what it basically is we will be storing values of i here. There will be n terms and we will be taking input from i is equal to 0 to the end of the array. And whenever we take an any input that is key we will store the ith value saying that on this occasion on this count we stored this particular value. So that will be the index for that particular problem and after storing all the indexes you are using a key value pair. So we will check uh, key whenever we are taking input and if that matches we will uh, assign our solution. So let us check it how it works. So let me first clear it up. Let us say I take the value 2 and as of now ma my map is empty. So it is nothing here ok. So I take the value 2 I check if the uh, 5 minus 2 exists or not as of now nothing exists in my map. So what I do I ins uh, insert the value of 2 here in my map and store the value of i. Here i is the index ok. So 1 is stored after that I uh, come at 1's position here I am taking the input. So 1 is, in uh, is taken into account we will check 5 minus 1 exists in the map or not it does not do not. So in that case I will assign value 1 to 2. So this is a key and 2 is a pair and pair is derived from the i value which was uh, used for uh, taking input. After that we will come at third position. We will check if 5 minus 3 exists in our map or not. Here we see that 2 exists and for which index? First index. And we need to give the solution in the uh, left to right operation. So what you can do is first we will return this index. So this will be 1 and then we will return this particular value. So here 1 and 3 will be the solution. So I know there is very little to explain here. So I uh, will write code and if you have any doubt do let me know in the comments and I will clear it uh, right away. So okay, let us start writing code and uh, there are two important things which we uh, look at before writing code. So that is uh, how the input is being taken and what are the constraints. So first let us see constraints. So t is a test case. So it is in the good range so uh, 250. Uh, money is in the range of 10 to the power 9. So I think it is good to go with the long uh, because uh, there could be issues in the later part and cost is in the again in the terms of 10 to the power 9. So if there is an addition of integers let us say we go with the integers and the, uh, we have taken addition of the integer at the last point. So there is chance of overflow so we will go with the long and the input uh, format is first they will give the test cases after that money and size of array and the price array. So let me complete a basic template here. Now let us uh, writing code. So let us take the basic uh, initialization. So in test case <coughs> long money. So I will be using another variable let us say long input to take values in our map. After this uh, first test case will be taken into account. So this will be C in test case. And for each test case there will be values so we will take a while loop. So you can always go with 4 there is no issue. So test case minus minus here first value will be taken that will be money. So C in money. After that uh, there will be value for size of array. So I am considering this value to be n. I have to initialize it. 
so let me go and initialize it first int n okay after taking value or uh, n we need to loop from 0 to n to take all the inputs so this will be basically for loop from 0 to uh, n okay now here uh, we'll do the all the operation here first we need to assign the values to the map let's let me add the value assign to map again check the complement and then result so let's start so before writing all this solution we need to initialize the value so first will be unordered map so i'm taking unordered map because uh, checking values in unordered map is o of 1 uh, so it is a uh, very fast so that's the reason why i chose with unordered map so here unordered map will be of type or the values the key will be long because money and input is in the term of long and the pair uh, which holds the value of i can be taken into int so this let's name it as a map and again we will be uh, requiring an iterator so i will be directly using a same map here and taking iterator for it so give me a minute now how we can check a complement is we can let's say take an input here in the for loop and after taking the input we need to check if it complements exist or not so first input will be taken then we will assign or check if the particular value is exist in the map so it will be money minus input okay now what this particular function returns is it returns an iterator so if the iterator points to the end of the uh, unordered map that points that this particular key does not exist and if it does not point to the end of the array that means the particular value is present in the unordered map okay but the value of iterator do not hold any special significance because unordered map is not ordered generally so there is no point of having value it of any significance but to check if value exists or not so what we'll do is we'll take this particular value into your it uh, we have uh, uh, defined iterator here and we'll check if this particular iterator is equal to equal to or not equal to let's go with the not equal to map dot end so that means the key exists in our map and here we will print the values so what we'll print out is first we need to print the left side value which was which we which came first in the array so that will be the value which is a present in the map which is a complement so what we'll print is map and we'll pass the key so key here will be money minus input and there is single space in between and we need to print current i for this particular value of i we got the value of or the price of air price of ice cream okay so now you can see that this particular problem do not ask us to give the price of ice cream which matches with the sum but the indexes of them so in this case we need to again assign the values of the indexes to the map so this can be done using map input and simply equating it with i now the, the solution requires a one based indexing so in this case what you can simply do is add one here and simply again adding one here would work so let's check if it works or not oh i think uh, ndl statement would be required because there are number of test cases so i think that that would be the issue one four one two yes i think all of that's the issue so make sure you write the endl statement because there are various test cases so there is a chance so let's check if it works for all test cases or not so if you are someone who's trying to solve all the problems from hackerang interview preparation kit do check other videos and thank you for watching have a great rest of the day